I'm the head of the neuroimmunopharmacology lab uh, and our research group is interested in how the brain talks to the immune system and the immune system talks to the brain. Uh, and we're really interested in the cells that are in the brain that make up 90% of the brain and those are in fact immune cells. Uh, and they work, usually work quite well and, and support our brain function to help us do everything we do usually, but unfortunately under certain situations they go bad and uh, we know about those kinds of diseases like the neuroinflammatory diseases of Alzheimer's uh, and Parkinson's. But we're now appreciating that there are other diseases that also involve uh, these immune cell um, dysregulation, such as chronic pain and uh, drug addiction. What we've discovered is that these immune cells called glia are very important for drug reward. Uh, so the reward that is produced by opioids, drug like, drugs like morphine. And that if we shut this glial reactivity down, we decrease the reward from opioids. Um, what's really exciting is we've found the exact mechanism via which this works. And this is via a receptor called toll-like receptor 4. And if we remove this TLR4 receptor, our um, studies show that we remove the abuse potential of opioids. The drug we've been developing over several years is a mirror image drug to the uh, well-known um, opioid antagonist or blocker called naloxone. So this is a mirror image drug called plus naloxone. It has a fantastic ability to block toll-like receptor 4, but it doesn't do anything to classical opioid receptors. So when we give this drug in combination with an opioid like morphine, uh, morphine binds to uh, the opioid receptors to give us the fantastic pain relief, but usually it would also cause the glia to become activated by this TLR4 pathway. But if we give plus naloxone at the same time, this blocks the uh, glial TLR4 reactivity and thus reduces the opioid abuse potential. Typically the problem has been that uh, opioids are used for acute to chronic um, severe um, pain, and uh, usually this is fine, most people don't have any problems, but there's a proportion of the population who do have this propensity to abuse the opioids. Uh, in this particular case, if this particular um, drug plus, plus naloxone was given at the same time as morphine, we would expect that it should block the abuse potential of the opioid, but in fact it would actually increase the analgesic pain relieving qualities of the opioid. This could be a brand new way to treat addiction by looking at the immune side of the story rather than what classically is done as looking at the wiring of the brain. Um, so we've really believed now that a drug abuse situation, rather than it being a dysfunction of the wiring, we think it's actually the immune system of the brain that has um, something wrong. It really is a paradigm shift in how we think about uh, drug addiction and drug reward. We have been focusing on the wiring of the brain, the mesolimbic dopamine reward pathway, for many decades. Um, and what this really does is it changes how we think about the mesolimbic dopamine reward pathway rather than just wires of the brain in isolation. These wires of the brain are in close proximity with the immune cells and the TLR4 receptors and this complex interaction between these multiple systems actually creates this drug abuse, drug reward situation. So that's a really significant paradigm shift in terms of treatment of addiction because what we've seen is that uh, most treatments for addiction focus on this wiring system. We believe now now that these uh, glial targeted and TLR4 targeted therapies will prove to be very efficacious in the future in clinical trials.